And here's, here's a fun little tidbit that you may have even forgotten by now, but Green Glass House was optioned by Paramount back in 2015. Oh, yeah. For, to be made into a film. Mm -hmm. Is there still any chance that it could be made into a movie? And how do you feel about it? Oh, well, so um, interestingly, Green Glass House has been optioned three separate times by three different groups. <laughs> um, and sometimes, sometimes you discover that you know, you don't have the same kind of vision for the book and that's why it doesn't work out. Sometimes COVID hits and that's why it doesn't work out. The most recent time, and the company has not announced it, but it has certainly been like, it's a, a thing that has been done, but the most recent group just optioned it in January was finalized. And a really cool thing about it is they said, yeah, we, we want to option Green Glass House, and I said, "All right, well, so what's your, you know, vision for it? Are you thinking film? Are you thinking TV? Like, tell me all the things that you know you're going to want to change, so that we can figure out." Because the nice thing about the nice thing about adaptations when they work is you get all of the benefit of a whole different medium that can tell a story totally differently, can focus on different things, but there are always going to be ways in which it's changed. So I just have learned that I need to be real up front, like. Tell me the things you're going to want to change. Let me tell you the things that I will <laughs> Agree fight to. you on. You know, <laughs> you know, because there's, I, I, I want you to be able to tell this story the best way, but here's a couple rivers I don't want to cross. Um, so the, the most recent group, like, tell me what your vision is. And they're like, honestly, we won't know until we have read everything in this world and we know it as well as you do. And I thought, oh, well, that's exciting because I feel like this is a place where you could have you could start off with the cozy mystery and then if you eventually want the Carnegie books and you want to have some horror you can do it you could have like so I said well that sounds really exciting and then I told my film agent and she's like okay so we'll look for that and when they sent the offer in it was for everything and all of this stuff plus weird little short stories that I've written for like letter boxes that are hidden around and like random art that I did. You're like, we need absolutely everything. And then we'll figure out how we start building a cinematic universe from it. And so that's the current situation. And I feel really optimistic because we just finished two big strikes, a writer's strike and you yeah. know, SAG-AFTRA. So that would have been a perfect time for someone to say, you know, this has been really hard for everyone. We have to make some choices. Um, so we're going to end the option and walk away a bit. No, I got an email from the producer who's like, pencils up, let's go. Wow. So nothing is for sure yet, but they're still plowing forward. And, um, you know, I got to say hi to them just a couple weeks ago, and I feel really optimistic. So I celebrate every step. So I'm very excited about it. And... Um, so yes, there is there Well, we is hope. hope something comes from that, definitely. Mm -hmm. I really like the story discussions we've had, and they have brought me out for a lot of story discussions and have felt very open to, like, I was thinking about this. What, how would you feel if we add this element or change this element? And I think the places where they have, first of all, that they came to me at all to discuss those things is awesome, but also I, I, like, I like the energy and the thinking, so I, I have high hopes. So were they going to do it as an individual book? Are they going to kind of combine everything? And then it, well, mishmash? this is where we, we won't know, I think, until it happens. But um, there is there is a plan that, you know, I mean, and it's all like speculation, but it could be like a season of TV interspersed with a movie to another season of TV interspersed with another movie. And maybe this guy is like an animated anthology kind of thing. And then we go back for season three and spin off even So like they're thinking big, but then they also have to figure out how they can sell this and how it makes sense to do it. So it's great yeah. guys. You should really do it. <laughs> <laughs>